The House has passed a partial amnesty that would cover several million illegal aliens. Now it goes to the Senate for a vote. If the Senate passes it, it goes to the President to sign. The Senate is not going to pass it. The Senate is going to vote it down. Even if they didn't vote it down, if they passed it, then the President would veto it. Now, this amnesty, if it were just the DREAM Act, it might actually have a chance of passing the Senate. There's a lot of sympathy for the people who would be covered by the DREAM Act. And in fact, the president might have signed something like that. But the Democrats didn't make it just the DREAM Act. They included TPS recipients. And this is a long pattern that we've seen with the Democrats and the DREAM Act. They never put up for a vote just the DREAM Act. They always associate something else with it that ensures its denial. This is why I think the Democrats don't actually want any kind of amnesty. I think that they want to bring in millions of illegal aliens who would increase their numbers for apportionment purposes and then keep them illegal so they don't actually have to pay attention to them during the elections. Let me explain all of those things in more detail. Let's start with the DREAM Act. The DREAM Act is a piece of legislation that has been introduced and reintroduced many times over the past 20 years. Under the DREAM Act, people who were brought to the US as children under about age 16 would be allowed to legalize from within the US, become permanent residents and be on a path to citizenship as long as they didn't have major criminal history and as long as they finished school or joined the military or something along those lines. The DREAM Act has wide bipartisan support. Both Democrats and Republicans support the DREAM Act and have for a long time. And the reason the DREAM Act has never passed is because it has never been up for a vote as a standalone piece of legislation. All of these years, these 20 years, and it has never come up as a piece of standalone legislation. Now, many of you have heard of DACA. DACA was an executive action by President Obama giving a temporary reprieve to people who would qualify under the DREAM Act, but DACA is set to expire. Right now, it's going through the court system because the Ninth Circuit said that the president can't cancel the program. Of course he can. If the president can create the program under Obama, then the president can terminate the program under Trump. This makes no sense. I think that when the Supreme Court finally looks at it, they are going to say the president can terminate the DACA program because he can. So what are these other things that are being attached to the DREAM Act in this immigration bill that just passed Congress? Well, it's actually two things. It's TPS and it's Deferred Enforced Departure. First, TPS. It stands for Temporary Protected Status, and it is described in Section 244 of the Immigration and Nationality Act. The idea behind TPS is that if there's a natural disaster in another country, let's say there's a hurricane that destroys the airports, how are people currently in the U.S., maybe as lawful visitors, supposed to go home if the airplane can't land in their home country. That's the idea behind TPS. It's to give the home country a chance to rebuild a little bit so that they can receive people again from abroad. Under the statute, INA 244B2, it states in there that when TPS is granted, it should be granted for an in initial period of six to 18 months. And then later on in section 244, it says that after that initial period, it can be extended for another six to 18 months at a time. So it's clear from section 244 that when Congress created temporary protected status, they meant for it to last about six to 18 months as needed. It wasn't meant to be something that goes on for years. However, what the president is trying to do right now, what he's been, been trying to do, is to terminate TPS status for four countries that have had TPS for a very long time. And those four countries are Haiti, which has had it since 2010, Sudan, which has had it since 1997, 
Nicaragua, which has had it since 1999, and El Salvador, which has had TPS since 2001. Now, people coming from those countries now for the first time can't get TPS. It's only for the people who were present in the U.S at the time that the TPS designation was made. And also if you get TPS, you can't use it to bring in more relatives. You can't sponsor a, you know, a parent or a spouse or a child when you're here on TPS. It's only for people who were present in the US at the time of the TPS designation. But these countries have had it for decades. Uh, some of them have had it for 20 years, some eight years, nine years or longer. As I said, it was meant to be six to 18 months. This is a clear abuse of TPS. So the president tried to terminate the status for all of these different countries. And of course it wound up in the courts. The Ninth Circuit granted an injunction, surprise, surprise. It's gonna go up to the Supreme Court. And again, as with DACA, I expect the Supreme Court to say, the president can terminate TPS status. It's very clear in the Immigration and Nationality Act. The other program that was included in this immigration bill that has passed the House is Deferred Enforced Departure. It applies only to Liberians who have been here since 2007. Deferred Enforced Departure was a program created by President Bush for specifically for the Liberians because a war had uh, broken out in Liberia. It's very similar to TPS in that fashion, although it has a few of the rules are a little bit different because it's not TPS. The people who would benefit from the DREAM Act are a much more sympathetic group than the people currently in TPS status and deferred and forced departure from those countries. If they are still renewing TPS and deferred and forced departure after all of these years, instead of adjusting through family relationship, instead of adjusting through employment, then it is almost certainly because they were here illegally be, as adults before they were granted one of these statuses, which is very different from people who were brought here as children. And you may still think that people who are brought as children shouldn't get to fix their status. Okay, but let's all agree that it's still not the same thing. People who would benefit from the DREAM Act versus people who are in TPS or deferred and forced departure. If the Democrats would do the DREAM Act as a standalone piece of legislation, it would probably pass the Senate and the president would probably sign it. Why won't they do that? And this is why I say, I don't think they want it to pass. Back to the apportionment issue. For a particular area, it is determined how many representatives that area has in Congress based on the number of people who live in that area, regardless of those people's status. So if it is a democratic stronghold and they have a lot of illegal aliens there, they may get two representatives in Congress, whereas maybe they would only get one if there were no illegal aliens. However, those illegal aliens can't vote. So those two representatives in Congress don't have to actually pay attention to those non-voters and they can pay attention just to their democratic voters. So in that way, the Democrats have more representation in Congress than their Republican counterparts because their numbers are inflated by the illegal aliens. But I think the Democrats don't want them to legalize and be able to vote because then they would have to listen to their concerns during election time. As long as they keep allowing in illegal aliens and keep pushing to let illegal aliens in, but don't actually let them resolve their status, then the Democrats get to have it both ways. They get more representatives, but they don't have to pay attention to the people in their districts. In summary, this bill, even though it passed the House, is not going to pass the Senate. Even if it did, the president wouldn't sign it. And the Democrats are sort of playing a game with us when it comes to immigration. They actually don't want all of these people to gain lawful status. That's all for today.